Hello everyone, I'm Bob Furlong and this is the next video tutorial video on features I like to use in ScreenFlow. The next one is zooming in and out. I'll do this in a couple of different ways. First of all, I will zoom in when I want students to focus on one part, especially of a picture or one part of my slide. So for instance, I may want to have them focus in on just the mitochondria. So I'm going to go up here to video action. Oops. Let me highlight the timeline that I'm on and go to video action and a little yellow area comes up. Now I can just zoom in on just the part of the diagram that I want them to know. Now watch what happens in this recording it'll zoom right in and I can talk about There we go. And then I might want to zoom it back out again. So to do that, because what happens is as soon as you have that action, it's going to keep it in that same spot for the rest of the video until you move it back. And so I'm going to want to add another action again, and let's put it back to where we had it before. Now the other thing that you can look at is if you zoom in, you may not like, let's watch that may not like that uh, maybe it's too fast so I can extend that bar notice how the time so now it's going to take 1.4 seconds to go back to its original place again the other thing I like to do if I find my video is not in the place so I might want to move it around all I have to do is click on the video timeline again hit action and then move my picture or my webcam to wherever I want to go and note what happens. When we watch that video, Energy it moves it. Again, if that seems like it's going to be too fast, I can extend the amount of time that takes to move it. Now remember, it's going to stay there to the end of the video unless I put another action in to move it back. I find that this is a very important tool to use. You don't want to just have a static view for the students. You want to constantly be zooming in and out.